is happening guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video we are back in the garage with the m4 gts and we're adding a little bit of spice today to the engine bay we're going to be replacing some of the caps on the s55 huge shout out to the guys over at golden wrench for sending all of these out i'm gonna have a link down in the description you guys can get these caps in any colors i actually went for all of the anthracite colors i know a lot of people are going to be like why aren't you adding more color we need more pop to the bay i wasn't really interested in making this engine bay super loud i just wanted it to be clean a little bit like oem plus type colors and I have this like gray and carbon theme going on that I kind of just want to continue with the car. In my opinion, that looks the best, but of course you guys can run any colors. They have multiple options. Let me show you guys what we got and then we'll get into the install. All right, so the great part about these caps is they are very, very easy to install. You're actually not replacing the caps themselves. These are just simple covers to place on top of the caps just to give you a little bit more flavor in your engine bay. So these ones are specifically for my car, but they make them for a bunch of different cars. And like I said before, I'll have them linked down below, but I also ran these on the Supra and the Supra I had them in red, but this time we are just going with the anthracite, which I actually think looks really good. It's gonna be very, very clean and subtle in the engine bay. So this one right here is going to be the coolant cap cover. This one right here is obviously the oil cap cover. This one right here is the charge cooler coolant tank cover. This one right here is for our fuel cap. And then this one right here is our washer fluid cap. So let's get into the install, see how it switches up. Right now, obviously everything is black. I think soon they're gonna actually have one for this as well. So really this is a very, very easy process. We're gonna take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, clean off the tops of the caps that we are going to be placing them on. Because the way that all of these adhere, is with 3M. So you just peel off the 3M, place it inside, and they have a really, really snug, tight fit to them. So you don't need to worry about them going anywhere. Once they're on, they are on. And of course, everything is still functional because they fit the exact size of the replacement cap. They lock into it. So let's just go ahead and start with this one over here. This is going to be the coolant reservoir cap. And if you look, it's got the arrow on it. Obviously, you're gonna wanna match it up with that arrow, but it fits directly over it. Doesn't move at all. It's very, very tight fitting. So we'll go ahead and clean this off and then throw on the 3M and put that one on first. All right, so we got that one on there. Let's go ahead and work on the charge cooler coolant cap up top here. All right, good there. Let's go ahead and do the oil cap. Got this one done. I also like how it matches the M power. I know I didn't show that, but I ended up having a custom decal made that was to the exact same size as the original cover like that. And I tried to match the color as well and then just threw it onto the Eventuri. I think that turned out really good. I did order like a little M badge, you know, like they have on the factory ones. And I put it on and it just looked kind of weird to be honest with you. It just looked like out of place a little bit. So I ended up taking it off and just decided to keep it pretty bare, just like this. But I'm happy with this. A lot of people were like, oh, you should run like the M colors down it or like paint it white. I just feel like that's too loud. Like it's just doing a little too much. Just my opinion, just my taste, you know? But you can kind of just see the theme I'm going for. It's very, very simple and subtle and nothing too loud or crazy. All right, so now we're gonna hit the washer cap right here. This one is obviously not adhesive because <laughs> that wouldn't work. So they give you a replacement with a little O-ring here and then they give you a little bit of grease as well. So what you're gonna wanna do is apply a little bit of grease around that O-ring and we're just going to take off this blue cap, which is pretty simple. You just pop it open. There's a little tab right here and you can basically push down the little piece on the inside. I'll grab a pick tool and do it and then just slide this off. It's pretty easy. All right, so there we go. 
Super simple, nice and snug. Subtle change, but a big difference. It would be really nice to see this one in the same color. I think that they're coming out with one for that. Crazy the progress that we've made with this car in under a month. This thing has just gotten pretty intense. All of the big maintenance stuff that I needed to take care of, I've already taken care of. This video might come out before the crank hub, but the crank hub is officially done in this car, as well as some other cooling things that we did and some simple stuff. Um, I also have my active auto work equal length mid pipe coming. It's resonated and that will be here in a couple of days and then we'll get into that video, but man, this whole thing is just, oh, this car is just really coming along. Before we get into more stuff, we're gonna throw on the fuel cap right here. Same process, a little bit of 3M, just stick it on top. All right, we are all done. Some of you will also be happy to hear that I'm gonna be changing up the risers. I know, I said that I was gonna keep these high. Risers, I wanna try out the GT4 risers from IND. I have a friend local to me that has a yellow M4 GTS and he's running the IND GT4 risers that are black, which are just like these ones. They're a little bit lower, so they're still a little bit taller than the factory ones, but they're a little bit lower than the RKP high risers. So I think it'll be a good balance in between you know, this this one is pretty big. It's definitely not for everyone. And um, and so now I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I might also be trying out a different diffuser. Might go for the 3D design uh, one-piece diffuser for a couple of reasons. One, I don't really love having three separate pieces on the back. And this one looks super, super aggressive. It's a great diffuser, it's cool. And if I were to run like a crazy exhaust system, some different tips or something like that, I'd probably keep it, but it looks a little bit weird with the factory G GTS muffler tips. Now, if you guys didn't know, this muffler is titanium. And the difference with the GTS muffler, being that it's titanium, the tips are actually welded into the muffler. So you can't change out the tips like you can on like the F80 comps or the standard F80s and F82s because this is all just like one welded piece. I'm not mad about that because I really do like this muffler. I think it's just kind of badass being that it's like the GTS one and I don't want to change it. I want to keep this factory muffler. I think anything really that I would change it to would pop possibly just be like a downgrade in my opinion. And if I were to do something like that, I'd probably do like a Kropovich. So with that being said, these tips are just a little bit small for this diffuser. As you can kind of see, like the design is super aggressive. And then you have these little bit smaller tips. And I just don't really think it works great with this car. The 3D design carbon fiber diffuser is just a one piece all the way across. And it has smaller fins. Just a little bit similar to like the OEM, but it carries all the way along as one piece. So we're gonna try that one out and see if we like it. I don't think that there's really anything wrong with this one. It's just a style or taste preference as well. I also forgot to mention that I added on the IND paint matched rear reflectors, which look pretty good too. So so yeah, lots of updates, lots of things happening with this car. As you guys know, we are prepping for the Keys Auto Show, which is coming up here pretty soon, just a little over three weeks. And yeah, man, I think it looks really good. I think the engine bay, this is really just what it needed in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, why didn't you do red? Why didn't you do blue? But you know, like I said before, man, I'm just trying to keep this one like simple, you know, not overdo it. I think when we get into this game of like modifying cars, it's really, really easy to just like overdo everything and just do things to do them. And I don't know, man maybe i'm just like getting old or maturing when it comes to <laughs> what i want to do to these cars but i just i want to keep it a little bit more on like the oem side and pretty simple obviously like adding these caps is not very oem but i think the color looks nice and it's nothing too crazy so yeah you guys tell me what you think if you guys are interested in buying these down below they make them for all of the different bmw engine bays and i'll have a link in the description so you guys can get them they offer them in different colors feel free to check them out they have other products as well like paddle shifters and like tail light overlay Lots of cool stuff. So you guys make sure you check them out. Anyways, guys, a pretty simple one today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shout out to the guys over at Golden Wrench for sending that stuff out. Really happy with their product. Super easy to install. Anyone can do this. Takes you like 10 minutes. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.